So I shared with you we'd get the extended cut AMC Javelin 1973. So right off the bat, let's start with this, which, which was a promotional release. So tell me about this. Yeah, this was a press release that came out in August of 72 announcing the 73 uh, Javelin and Javelin AMX. The, the Javelin's up on top and the Javelin AMX is on the bottom. You can see the, the Javelin AMX came with the rear spoiler. and uh, 73 was a carryover year from the uh, 71 and 72 models. They changed the taillight panel, smoothed the roof out, did a couple other little changes, but it was basically a carryover model. Very cool. Right, I'm going to slide that up. Show me the helmet because that's going to relate to our next one. Show yeah, this helmet uh, was done by a friend of mine. He um, came up with the, the design. Uh, we had talked about it for a while, and he kept throwing some things at me. And this is really a tribute to the Mark Donahue uh, Trans Am Javelin from the 71 season. It's cool how we swapped the colors on the other side. Yeah, it came yeah. out really neat. Show me the back. Yeah, the Mark Donahue down. number six. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then I had him put this uh, Trans Am uh, Victory Javelin decal. Uh, on the top, which uh, was available um, as a special option on the 73 models. Which actually is this brochure right here. So we yep. won, now you win, and there's that piece right there that was actually a decal on the car, correct? Yep, yep, coming off the 72 Trans Am Championship, they offered the, the Trans Am Victory Javelin. It was only available for, I believe it was in the first quarter. Of 1973. That's interesting. Yeah, I guess it was a no charge option, from what I what I understand. You got rally wheels and that fender decal, and a couple other things. Very cool. All right, and then we have another brochure from the time. Yeah. Right. 73 sales. It's in. nice to know you're driving the winner. That's exactly. The look my wife gives me when I drive in to the driveway. That one right there <laughs> in my dreams. <laughs> oh, yeah. Buckle up so for I'm safety. Not wearing that outfit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, tell me about this one. This is the 73, just the Javelin, though. Yep. And it's neat how they've got the race cars in the background. Very yeah, this is an unusual brochure. I, I've seen a lot of. 73 Javelin brochures, but this one um, is a little less common. But it's got a lot of the same materials from the from the big brochure that we're going to look at in a minute. But uh, yeah. it's kind of a neat brochure. It sure is. And this brochure does this, so it opens all the way up. Yeah, one of the things I find interesting about this brochure is that this. Uh, Purple color here, Javelin yeah. AMX is, has the 71 only machine wheels on it, which were certainly, <laughs> they, those were discontinued in 70. Well, I think you could get them in 72 for part of the year as well. Uh, but primarily, they were found on 71 Javelin AMXs, but certainly not on a 73. I like the turned dash look as well. Yeah. And that's the, what, Pierre Cardin? Yeah, uh, Pierre Cardin interior. And here's your specs. On this one, which shows you I'm trying to pause long enough so you can stop if you need to to read that. Your options, and don't worry if you miss the options here because we have a brochure that's going to really cover all the details. So, we'll move that up, bring this one here. So this is the 73 brochure for all the cars. And something interesting about this one came from Displains. Tell me why that's interesting, Dave. Yeah, I, I just realized that when I pulled that out, um, this, this, my Javelin has uh, been in Chicago its whole life. I believe it originally came from Displains, so it's, it's likely it could have come from that dealership. Uh, but don't, don't know for sure, as I don't have a lot of documentation on the car. Wow. I'll move that over just a bit. Yeah, I, I actually bought the car in Des Plaines um, in 1988. Um, I found the second owner, and he was also from uh, Chicago uh, North Northwest suburbs there. So the car's been it's been in the area its whole life. So I kind of take an overall view, and then I'll what our '73 offers you. Get 
chance to see all that. Let me see the green one. X. Yeah. That's kind of a drill. Four or five liter in. That would be, that would be a nice one to own. Little Levi's grown one. Yep. You see the little Levi's tag right there. Right there. Just like on your your actual pants, there it is. Giving you the detail there. We actually have a Levi's Gremlin on the channel. So if you go to my car story with Luke Gremlin, you'll see a few of them and you yeah. can check out that Levi's yeah, one. Peace, Levi's Gremlin's a beautiful car. Yeah. California car. Mm hmm. Nice. More on the Gremlin. As you can see, flipping hatch back there. The 5 liter V8. There's some engine specs. Performance options. Twin grip differential. The Hornet. Yeah, Hornet hatchback. A little new sporty compact. A rare car to see. I think I have one Hornet on the channel. Yeah, this was a couple years after the 71 uh, Hornet SC360, which uh, is a really neat car. Mm -hmm. Try to go slow enough where you can read some of that information if you like this kind of thing. The Hornet Sport about. Nicely outfitted there. Nice interior. Gucci. The Gucci interior. <laughs> the, Gucci, the Gucci interior. Yeah, that was available in the Hornet. Wow. You see, did a lot of that kind of stuff with the, with the Pierre Cardin you saw and Levi's. And, uh, and there it is, the details on the Gucci interior. We had an Oleg Cassini Matador. <laughs> Some design cues for sure. Well, they, they were, you know, the innovation of the company was based on we got to do something just a little bit different than the big three. And these sure. interiors show that for sure. That would be pretty cool. The Hornet sedan. A lot of Hornets. A lot of Hornets, yeah. 73 was a time where they were probably selling more Hornets just because we had the... Uh, gas situation going on where there were some shortages. So the Hornet and the Gremlin were helping compete with the Pinto and the Vega. Yep. And if you just can't stomach the Gremlin, we're going to put you in something just a little bigger. <laughs> and then you got for your sports car guy. And again, those... Yeah, same, that was the same photo they used in that the channel rag. only brochure. Yeah. yeah. Open road or track. There you go. A better view of the pure Kurt interior. Yeah. They carried that design up into the headliner. Which oh, was yeah. Good. That's yeah. very good. I'm glad you pointed that out. I wouldn't have noticed that at first. Yeah, it goes across the door panel and come, come, comes up the roof. It's pretty wild. For sure. The Javelin and AMX. So they, they clearly made them differential yep. cars. Yep, two distinct. So um, you can see the big spoiler. Yep, they have their own VIN indicator. Um, the Javelin uh, is, a, is a 7 in the VIN and the Javelin AMX is an 8. So you can tell by looking at the VIN if it was a 
a javelin or a javelin in that. How did you get to know all this knowledge? <laughs> I've had the car for a long all time. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, reading brochures like this and uh, you know a lot of stuff on the internet. So yeah, yeah. I just had had the car so long. Uh, I've read an awful lot about them over the years. And I want to say thanks for the trunk and treats because uh, some people don't have them. And sometimes I made them at a car show, and it's just what it is. Um, but when you can stop by and do what we're doing here, stop by the garage and see all the cool stuff, that's pretty cool. There's your engine specs. I always find that. Yeah, I was, thought it was pretty cool that they yeah. had all those engine options back in the day. Well, some people will, will, you know, they just can't wait to see that stuff on the channel, too. They just love the, the bits and bytes, you know, cubic inches and all the details. Nice interior. Notice the headrest adjustment in the seat in the bucket. Pretty interesting. Another Pretty comfy. Yeah, another thing that AMC did. I'm gonna go. This is your buckets in your matador. Standard equipment. Was that hood release? Okay. Yeah, full, full gamut of uh, engine availability on the Matador as well. I'll tell you, the AMC faithful will appreciate this. The Ambassador Brome. Oh, yeah. Full size. Uh, yeah. This is in the lineup. The Tudor looks cool. Yeah, that's pure silver. That's a, the factory color of my javelin. Very nice. Yeah, I do. I really like that Tudor, especially in pure silver. Oh yeah, that's got a very classy look to it with yeah. the with the black top. Yeah, and the ambassador and the, and the matador were the, the ambassador was a full size car and the matador was considered a mid sized car, but from the doors rearward they were they were almost identical. There's your pewter silver. I'll let the other colors. Pretty wild colors in the early seventies. Yep. So. Mentioning your Levi's there, there we go. That's quite the fabric. Yeah. I would never try that today. For everyone, but I right. And then your lineup. And our last but clearly not least, this is quite the book. First of all, let me show it to you from the side. I mean, it's. We, we won't go through all of it. It almost looks like brand new. It's a, yeah, it does. It's 1973. I, I kind of got lucky. I, I can't remember where I found that, but I haven't had it that long. I, I bought this a couple of years ago. So, sure, sure, we have right here. Yeah, this is all the paint color chips here. Um, and I could go to a lot of good colors in here. This is the color of my car here, the pewter silver, which was a pretty uncommon color in '73 yeah. for whatever reason, but by the, today's standards, it's pretty common. You have the striped chips. Yeah, that one's pretty cool too. Fresh plum. Yeah. Yeah, rally stripe colors, uh, vinyl top colors here. Some of these look really cool in sunlight. Oh yeah, well, the blue. There's some metallic in them, and uh, they really sh they really glow in the, wow. in the sunlight. That's <laughs> great. All right, then literally it takes you through every single car, so we won't have the time to do that. But what I will do is we'll feature. Let's feature the javelin, but you can see it's got all of them. That's some cool pictures. Oh yeah. We'll feature some of those. I don't know if a girl like that had ever been like that in an actual world. <laughs> <laughs> she looks more like an ambassador girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The horror girl wouldn't. There we go. Let's show some of those great pictures for the gremlin. That's kind of fun. All right, we'll do that. We'll show the pictures. 
But notice, this is actual material right there for this one. So we're here at the Javelin, like so. There's your unique color there. So here we have with this, we'll, we'll do this one a little more in detail. It's kind of interesting how they take the front and back and cut it like that. Mm -hmm. The model comparisons. You can see the Javelin had a different grow with more of a rectangular marker light, and Javelin Amex featured that screen with the yeah. round uh, marker light in there. Yeah, light. glad you pointed that out. Your four speed. There's your 401 four barrel. So here we have our fabric as I shared with you. The AMX and the Cardin. So that was a separate car that had it, like the Javelin, the AMX, and the Cardin, or just these are some of the features that came with it. Yeah, I mean, it was really just the interior. It did have a fender badge on the car, um, and there is a way to. I don't know the code, but the data t code on the door tag will tell you yeah. if it was a pure Cardan car. Cool how they two-tone the uh, the doors too, right? Or the the seats. Of yeah, the I, my first Javelin had that exact interior in it. <laughs> Bring back it was memories. a brown car. It had that, that tan. The all-important go package. Yep, and that got you the T-stripe and the front spoiler was... I believe part of that package, um, the blacked out tail panel. Um, the hood? Yeah, the, the hood. The, the, the hood came on all the Javelin AMXs. Oh, really? Uh, it, became a, it was functional on the go pack car. Adjusto, adjusto tilt mm -hmm. steering wheel. That was another great thing. They'd use some neat customized words. Adjusto tilt steering wheel. Yeah, they'd come up with something different. Yeah. Just so you, it, it was memorable, right? I mean, that was great. That's what you did it for. The luggage rack. Mm. I don't think I've ever seen an AMX or an AMX or a Javelin. With, well, the AMX couldn't have the luggage rack because of the spoiler, I'm right. sure. So that was a ja uh, Javelin only option. And of course, you'd never put luggage on it. Yeah, that's just kind of cool about this book. It'll tell you what, you know, what came with what. Yeah. What was standard, what was optional, or unavailable. Wow. And again, I'm just from, from a time standpoint, we'll show you some of the pictures that they have here of some of these other cars. There's the cool interior pieces. So grandma's couch. Yeah. That looks cool. It's got a nice look. Yeah. Yeah, those are those are good cars. A little sporty. For a big full size car, it does definitely has a good look. Yeah. The buyer protection program. There's our guarantee. The engine mechanicals. Lots of good information. Lots of good information. Product quality. Safety, all of your features, trailer towing. Oh my gosh. There you go. <laughs> I would never it's like a think, good time there. gee, let's take I'm going to pop up. <laughs> that, that was an unexpected surprise. <laughs> well, put a V8 in that little thing. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Like okay. Yeah, now, now, that, now that you say it that way. I don't want to pull anything real This is long. actually interesting. It's got the brochure actually glued into the book. Just in case you forgot it, the bulletins section. And there's no bulletins. It's probably a good thing. The competitive information. That's awesome. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we have no yeah. competitors. Uh, the trim options. It goes on the gremlin trim options. And it's just a bullet point there. 
the Hornet trim options. We'll take a look at the Javelin trim options. There you go. Should be able to pause that. Get you know, a look, see the Matador options. Yeah, this is a good free resource here. I'm we'll trying to restore a car. Yeah, for sure. What was available, what wasn't. I'm going to let you put that back together. Sure. Well, that was great. We'll go right back to the front. Yep. Very good. Well, go. that was great. 1973 American Motors, the full details on this extended version.